the time Darth Vader ignored Emperor Palpatine to pursue Luke Skywalker. This comes from the Vader 2020 comic series, specifically issue number one. So if you want to go ahead and read that yourself, you can do so, but I'm going to get straight on with the video. So this comic takes place just after The Empire Strikes Back, where Vader initially tried to recruit Luke to try to train him to defeat Palpatine, and the comic opens with a flashback to that scene shown in a tinted red colour, and remember that because all the flashbacks in this comic are shown in red, and I believe they've done this to show us how Vader actually sees these situations, as as we remember in Revenge of the Sith when we see Vader get suited up and we look through his mask's eyes, everything's a little bit red. Vader embarks on a mission to find Luke Skywalker just as Palpatine tries to contact him via another Imperial officer, being Piet, who Vader actually promoted in The Empire Strikes Back via killing his superior, but Vader is not bothered about Palpatine trying to contact him and leaves anyway, and Palpatine actually laughs at the idea that Vader is ignoring him, maybe knowing that Vader is plotting against him, as obviously he's being a bit suspicious after trying to turn Luke to the dark side and failing, and now he's going somewhere that no one knows about. On Vader's shuttle there is a droid and Vader managed to reprogram the thing to self-destruct if it snitches to anyone about what's about to happen on their mission. Vader literally did this in seconds showing that he's came a long way since making C-3PO in The Phantom Menace as a 9 year old boy. This next part is particularly interesting because Vader doesn't intend to find Luke just yet but instead seeks revenge on Luke's behalf by aiming to destroy everyone that's made him weak. So they head to Tatooine and more specifically the Lars homestead where Vader is bombarded by flashbacks to the last time he was there which was in Attack of the Clones when his mother had died. The droid he is with speaks about Shmi Skywalker's death and specifically how a Tusken Raider camp was massacred afterwards. Obviously we know this was done by Anakin himself. We then see some more flashbacks obviously starting with Padme trying to calm him down but what I find interesting is how he gets a flashback flashback of Yoda telling him that anger leads to hate, hate leads to suffering and you know the rest and like I said this is interesting because the Jedi Council were largely to blame for Anakin's turn to the dark side because if he was allowed to see his mother, if he was allowed to be with Padme then we know that chances are he wouldn't have turned to Vader so it's interesting that Vader still thinks about these things. Afterwards we then get some more stuff with Padme and Anakin's reply to Padme, this is their dialogue in Revenge of the Sith and then it cuts to Luke and basically Vader's just getting overwhelmed with sadness here, especially when we see Luke falling down in the Empire Strikes Back running away, then it turns to Shmi and then it turns to Padme so Vader is getting overwhelmed with his emotions now which may help him in the fight that's just about to happen. Some pirates that spotted Vader's shuttle enter the atmosphere above Tatooine, bombard him intending to steal the goods of the shuttle, but Vader, full of anger following what's just happened, makes incredibly light work of them and moves on saying how he's only just started with his inquiry into his son, Luke Skywalker. It's very interesting to see how in-depth Vader is willing to go to fully learn about Luke's whole life so far, so when the time is right, and he does try to recruit Luke again, he can potentially be a bit more successful this time and then successfully overthrow the Emperor. They then head to Coruscant and specifically to Padme's old apartment trying to find a trace left by any of Padme's most trusted to lead them somewhere and they actually find a scout transmitter and they head to Vendaxa to see who it is reporting to. Vader has to slaughter a bunch of creatures to get into the facility where the transmitter is reporting to and when he gets in he sees what he believes to be a very familiar face and that's Padme. And that is exactly where the first issue of Vader 2020 by Marvel ends. So if you want to see issue number two, then I'll be more than happy to do it. That was actually my first time reading the first issue of the Vader 2020. So I'm kind of going through them with you and reading them along the way. So I imagine a lot of you haven't read them before. So this is kind of a journey for both of us. So if you enjoyed that comic, if you enjoyed my cover of it, please do leave a like, subscribe for more. Like I said, let me know if you want to see any more comic stuff because... I'm going to be reading them anyway because I really, really enjoyed that one. And I'm intrigued to see where it goes because is that Padme? Is it not? She did have a lot of lookalikes. Chances are it's probably one of them because <laughs> it's not actually Padme. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye.